Wagwan people, we are back! Master League, Reggae Boy United, episode 13, season 2, brothers! Before we get into it, these are the teams got promoted. Obviously, we won the league. Bournemouth came second. Norwich came up through the playoffs. Brighton, Leeds, and West Brom go down, brothers. So, new season underway. Promoted. This is where things get serious, apparently. Now, we're not really going to do any transfers as far as I know. Uh, we don't need to do any business. We'll just see what's going on. See what the season objectives are. Maybe transfer list Lobato and uh, Harrington as well. And like I said, we'll probably just use our academy. Maybe call up a couple of brothers from the academy if we've got anyone decent. And again, it's just for backup when if we've got like a team of reds or everyone's got no energy. We'll go from there. But here we are. Season objectives. Let's see what the chairman's got to say this season and what we're going to do. All right. I'd like to discuss the season objectives. Okay, that's what we're all here for. We're waiting on you, bro. I really see goal for us avoid relegation. One day we'll compete for place in the league, but we've, now we need to buy that time and maintain our place. What do you think? I have faith in the brothers to stay up quite comfortably. I wouldn't mind a top 10 finish. But for now, what we've got? Top half of the league, Champions League. I'm just going to say agree. I won't lose my damn job, you know what I'm saying? All right, agree. Stay in division trumps everything, which it does, to be honest, brothers. We've got to try and stay up. We are going to be in a bit of a relegation fight this season. But you never know, pick up some points early boards, we'll be okay, I reckon. Alright, so yeah, let's do this. Aim for that. The subscribers are ready. I'm ready. Let's beast this league, okay? Alright. Come on, Chairman. You're milking this so much, man. Alright. That settles it then. As long as you're on board, I feel confident that this will work. Of course it'll work, man. I'm not going to spend any dollars. Like, we spent 20 million on Lobato last season. And like I said, he is a good backup, but... Like I said, we have this... Oh, my goodness. We're the same mind. Okay, thanks for that. All them stats. Nothing at all. So, yeah, like I said, I might sell Lobato and Harrington. We called them up last year. Um, first things first, let's have a look. What youth team academy players we got through this year. All right, so we've got uh, L. Clark. <laughs> Big target, man. Yeah, Malenko. Okay, that's not bad. We've got a nice little winger there, 70 rated. Uh, Gastaldo. Where's his brother from? Italy. Okay. Juni Cocara. Brazilian. So again, like I said, we could just use these players, bring them up when we need them. Alvarez, Dean, they're all a bit low rated though. Um, Balowski, Son, Barrero, Arado, Agnano, Colos. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Absolute trash. Not bad, Diagna though. 185, Senegal Destroyer. Rosu, Avram, Habib, Fowles. So yeah, looking like we're not really getting much else. All the rest of ones from before as well. So, yeah, there's a couple of brothers on there we could maybe call up. There's nothing amazing, to be honest. Yarmolenko, Bergi, maybe. Uh, Gastaldello. Yeah, if we need to. Uh, so, before the end of the season, we did have a bid for Warrington in. 4.1 million, considering it cost us absolutely nothing. So, let's uh, let's take that. He can go to Stoke. Enjoy Stoke, brother. And like I said, we did spend a lot of money on Lobato. Lobato is our second highest rated player. But I want to use the subscribers as much as possible. Um, so let's be fair, we don't really need this brother. So we're going to put to reasonable offers because I want an absolute beast in amount. I want 30 million if I can. But hey, and then like I said, if we need to, we'll call up these brothers. Now, looking at the votes, everyone's been voting in there massive. Thank you again for voting for your player of the season, whether you were the, one of the subscribers or again, you're just somebody who watches the series and enjoy it, man. Well, thank you for that. But pretty much an outstanding landslide victory for Romardino Jr. He is going to be the player of the season. Now, if I can think rightly, uh, surely I can get in here. And there we go. You can add 11 players to your favourite player. So last year, I only had 7 subscribers in the series, so I added all 7 straight away. And rumour has it in the world of Pez, your favourite player's stats go quicker. So this is going to be the reward for the player of the season. So again, I mean, in theory, we might get about 10 seasons done this year. So we've got enough faces for it. And that's a new kit on the right-hand side. Hope your brothers are liking it. Kit for this season. Uh, we're always going to keep, keep with the black colour, the yellow, the green and the red for the goalkeeper. Um, so yeah, the player of the season is Romardinho. Congratulations Romardinho. You are going to be added to the favourite players list. You are now one of the best players at the club. Player of the season. There you go. Cool. So that in theory should all be up and running. I've got some messages in here. Uh, Alright, players contracts running out. Kozaki, Evans and Ricketts. I think we'll do that then. Since we've got some more money back in. Uh, do you know any exclusive offer? Okay. Maybe we're sure we're going to stay in the league. But yeah, in theory now, Romadinho should be in there. He is. Cool. All right. So we've got um, 
183,000 in the bank. So it was Kuzaki. Could do with it. Ricketts, wasn't it? Uh, so Kuzaki runs out in 2022. Let's negotiate something now. Well, we still have 16 million buyout clause. I like it a lot. Satisfied with the club. Gone up to 8,000 a week. Damn, Kozaki. Let's give you a couple of win bonuses and a clean sheet kind of thing. Uh, 16 mil he will now cost to someone else to buy him out. Which isn't bad because his buyout clause is 11 now, but his value is 12. Uh, the other brother was, uh, was it Evans in the house as well? No, 2024. It wasn't Riley Evans then. It was Ricketts and Durning. Durning runs out in 2022 too, as well. So let's renew some contracts with Durning. Nine grand a week. Okay. Your brothers are absolutely taking the Michael out of me now. But it's important that we get these brothers signed back up again. Uh, Juventsley runs out in 2022. I mean, what damn year are we in? Yes, yeah, so that's the end of this season as well. So let's do Juventsley. All right, satisfied. 25 million buyout clause. I like it a lot. Let's get these brothers some new contracts. Uh, anyone else runs out in 2022? Lamin Conti as well. So we might as well do this now. Otherwise, we'll have to do it in January anyway. But we might as well get these brothers up and running. Uh, who else is in here? Kozaki we've done. Spiral's another one. My goodness. Everyone's contract's running out this season. Got three-year deal on this bad boy. Everyone is uh, happy and satisfied. Like I said, gets our buyout clauses higher up. Because that's the only way we're going to lose these brothers. I've put no bids at all in. We won't accept anything. But if someone does bid their, uh, obviously, their buyout clause, we can't do nothing about it. So let's make sure the buyout clause is nice and high. Riley's another one. So again, appreciate you brothers are going to have to sit through this. Uh, Nazim as well. Worth 11 million now. So let's get his bout clause up a bit. That's nice. Let's do that. Uh, who else is in here? Manny's okay. Uh, Cruz needs one as well. Manny and Romardino Jr. have another two years still on their contract. So we're cool with that. All right. Uh, Tijiku's good. Silver T. My goodness, this would have been an absolute nightmare in January. Could have been, players could have gone on the free. Uh, Unlove's cool. Harrington's is going to go. Right, so that's all the transfers done in there. Uh, so today's episode, we will have, oh my goodness, a massive big gap. We will have Everton in the building and we'll also have Tottenham as well for the transfer window closes. Now, going through it, I don't think any other sort of decent retired players came back through. As far as I know, like I said, we got Yarmolenko in ours. But uh, overall, I don't believe there's anything decent. I'll have a little shop just in case there's something we do want to get. So let's see which came through. All right, Labato's to the best one. Lorient, uh, Nolito's in there. Phil Jagielka. Is it other? No one back. Phil, oh, there's a reason why no one wants Phil Jagielka, to be honest. Ricardo Costa, Vla, Boruch, Glenn Murray, <laughs> Willy Caballero. So, yeah, like I said, unless somebody amazing comes through, we really want them. Mariapa, Jamaican brother, has gone to Watford again, though. Um, yeah, we won't bother. Charisma. He's a free agent. Might, you never know. We might get Kresmer in the house just to cover some wings and stuff like that. But again, these brothers aren't really going to play. So we don't have to worry too much. We've got 22 subscribers in it. So we should have enough uh, really to get us through the season. Obviously, less games this year as well. Um, Belzi Zabaleta's in there. Uh, jean -Matt. Nah, I think we're good. I think we're good, brothers. I think we're good. We'll go with that. All right. So I'm going to press on with the press on. If anything comes up, I will let you know, brothers. But if not, we're going to head right down straight to the Everton game and the Tottenham game. Let's get it! So here we go. Romardinho added to the favourite players. There he is, young Rom boy. Took the gold Star Bet Championship crown, registered his favourite players. And the crazy thing, Spiral actually got player of the season voted by the Championship clubs uh, as well, which is kind of crazy. But Romardinho Jr. is in there. Well done, Spiral, as well, for your award. Well, there we go. So he's added to our favourite players. We can check them out anytime we want. Past glories, as you know, we've got the championship in the bag. Uh, Harrington has gone. No, nothing else has really gone on, to be honest. Like I said, we're not going to sign anyone else unless we want to call some of the Youth Academy players up. Uh, so we're halfway through this transfer. Ting. Like I said, not a bean, not a bean. We're just going to get straight into the action with Everton. It's going to be a tough one. It really is. Oh, some more negotiations. Let's see what this one's about. It might be something for Lobato. You never know. Uh, oh, our team. Okay, so maybe it is about to. All right, so uh, Durning has agreed a new contract. Spot on. Congratulations, Durning, on the new pay rise. Juventusly as well has agreed. So again, like I said, good job. We got a bit of extra money in the bank. Uh, so is Lamin Conte. So these brothers all signed for another three years. Kozaki. 
And it's good to see that everybody is happy with their negotiations. Spiral signs again. And the good thing is this season as well, I think what will get us through most of it, brothers, is the fact that we've got that team cohesion. We've kept most of the players. We're going to get rid of two and then maybe call a couple of academy players up. We can keep doing that and keep selling them and just making loads and loads of money. <laughs> and then one day, you know, if you, if you fancy buying somebody, we can do. Uh, but yeah, it looks like everybody has signed their contract, which is cool. I like it a lot. Uh, silver T. And also on this, I've been giving you brothers some training as well. So every sort of 30 days, uh, I can train one of you brothers up if you are qualified in getting some skill training. So here, for example, Scissors Faint says the only player available for it is Lobato. We ain't going to do that. Same with Double Touch. But you've got to have dribbling higher than a certain amount and ball control. So Lobato will just meet most of the requirements. Uh, I've done a couple of long throws and man marking and trap backs on a couple of the brothers that can get them. Lobato again for a long throw. So we've got gamesmanship where you can win free kicks. I don't think Silver T or Achibi need that. <laughs> man marking again. I don't think the keepers need the man marking, unfortunately. Trap back. So this is good. So it enables an offensive player to actually pressure the opposition who is on the ball trying to win the ball back. Now they ain't offensive players really, those three. But we, again, we could get one of them learning that trait at least. Interception, no one can do it. So at the moment, our stats aren't great. So let's get a couple of trap backs on these brothers. You know, you might, they might as well learn these things. So uh, let's go Icy Lava first time round. Takes takes 30 days. He'll learn that. And again, it's an extra skill to his bow. All right. So we're going to press on. Now, I wouldn't mind this season, like I say, we'll avoid relegation. And then we have a good cut run. I mean, oh my goodness, come on, negotiation days. What's going on now? So yeah, maybe a quarterfinal in the cup, something like that. Uh, we've got Burnley in the first round of the FA Cup. The FA Cup has been drawn. Oh, it's just the scouts. Really? That's what you brought him back for, just that. Come on, man. Again, there's going to be some deals going down. We're not going to be making any deals, unfortunately. But Unana's gone to Paris Saint-Germain, 59 million. Thalvin has gone. Henderson's gone to Real Madrid for 30 million. That's not too bad. Uh, we signed Labata for 22. He's only get more than 22 for Labata. Jared Bowen's gone to Man United. Bellingham's gone to Juventus. Uh, Eric Dyer's gone to Everton. Fabio Silva's gone. Maitland-Niles. Harvey Elliott's gone to Leicester. It's only a loan deal, though. Foden's gone on loan to Everton as well. Uh, Adrian went to Real Madrid. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing, Real Madrid? Longstaff's gone to Burnley, Vital. So again, we'll keep an eye on that. It should be good, it should be good. But I'm looking forward to seeing the new kits, get everything up and running, get this season beasting and feasting, brothers. And again, I'll probably play like a couple of games off camera. I won't play that many because the championship, I did try and play like four or five off camera just for the sheer fact there was 46 games in the season. Um, but this season, I might do like play two, miss two, play two, miss two. It depends how the fixtures fall and what teams we're playing and what we're getting on with. Again, just, I don't need to care about the scouts. I'm not really bothered about that. We're not buying nobody. We're saving our money for a rainy day. Uh, we can't be that far away from uh, Everton game now. Oh, my lordy. All right, brothers, you know what? Hey, Lukaku's gone to Chelsea, 55 million. He's back in England. All right, Lukaku, welcome back. Romelu. All right, if there's any more negotiations, brothers, we'll cut scene. We'll get straight back to the thing. Oh, my goodness. And we'll see you straight at the kickoff at Everton game. Unless Lobato gets sold. All more scouts. Ridiculous, man. Jordi Alba's gone to uh, Man City as well. All right, brothers. I'm going to get through all this kind of mayhem, and I will see you at kickoff of the Wagwan Stadium. All right, here we go. League opener, chapter one. Everton, the first Premier League team we'll face in our new era in the division. How do you feel going into your first match of the new season? You dumb... Hey, again with these dumb questions, man. All right, let's answer this. All right, how are you feeling? A strong start is key to taking the title. Obviously, we're not going to say that just yet. We'll make the fans proud. We're ready for them. We're ready for them. I certainly want to walk away from the game with a win. We know the ability to beat Everton and we're ready to take them on. It's going to be a tough game. Now, there's been some crazy transfers. The Premier League is lit with players now. I'm talking Sergio Busquets has gone to Man City. I'm talking Malin's gone to Manchester United. I do believe Fakir is in the league now as well. It has just been crazy. So... Uh, Odegaard went for 60 million. Arthur's gone as well. Ruben Neves gone to Leicester. Poulsen's gone to Tottenham. Uh, Mendy's left the Premier League though. He's gone to Atletico Madrid. Uh, Golovin, that was another one. He's gone to Manchester United. Uh, Jack Cork's left. Uh, uh, Diogo Jota's gone back to Wolves. Okay. Cheeky. Under has gone to West Ham. Uh, I didn't know Liverpool even signed him. Limon has gone to uh, Tottenham as well. Jesse Lingard's left Man United for Brighton. Shame on Brighton. 
Uh, Drew C. Krudnic has gone to Man City. Victor Moses has gone to Manchester United. But yeah, there were some big names. Obviously, it goes in chronological order. So again, we do miss them now and again once you come back to look at them. But there's been some crazy transfers. But it doesn't matter. Here we go. Reggie Boy United versus Everton. Now again, Labato hasn't been sold yet. No one's come in because I put that special offer on. But let's get it, brothers. We're back. We're in the Premier League. This is where we belong. There ain't nobody let you know differently. We're going to go out there. We're going to smash this division. Trust me. Whether it's a year or two from now, we'll be playing for the title and the Champions League. But today, it all begins. Leave nothing left, brothers. Everything on the pitch. Every single thing. Let's come away with a win. Let's smash this Goodison team. Let's get it, brothers. Reggie Boy United, we are. Think about it. Zone out. Score the goals. Clean sheet. Let's move. Let's do it. Now, Everton better turn up with some decent kits because I want to play in my new home kit. All right. So, let's get it. First game of the season. And again, looking at the moment, it looks like Everton are playing that five midfield. So, let's go. We'll match him with that midfield, you know. Mm hmm. That's better. All right. So, Cody achieving goal. Kuzaki. Icy Lava. Unlove. Nazim's going to have to make a start for you, brother. Uh, here we go, Ricketts. Riley, oh my goodness, a few of the brothers again are still partying from last year. All right, okay. Uh, so, midfield here. We've got Waki Malaysia on the left. Let's go Lamin Conti on the right. Navoy up front. Uh, Dernin in the Chibi. So let's go. And again, uh, we've got Rodriguez, left footed, generally goes to the right hand side and spreads him over. So let's go this side with Casimiro. Dernin, that's cool. Uh, Cruz in the building, let's get you on the bench as well. My goodness, and like I say, look, we probably do need maybe just one more person, a couple of academy players maybe, something like that. I don't really know. Uh, I might be even let one more subscriber join the series, who knows, who knows. All right, I think we're going to go with that, brothers. The first game of the season, let's get it. Uh, what I might also do as well is do a new vote for captain. You know what I mean? We did, we're going to say we're going to do it every season. So I might even do that as well, brothers, because I haven't done that yet. And put a little video up. Uh, put all your names in the pot and see who becomes the captain of the season. But here we go. Ever in the building. Uh, yeah, you can play in that. Let's get it. Wagwan, new kit, new season. I'll see you at kickoff. Wagwan Stadium, packed to the rafters. The first game of the Premier League era for Reggae Boy United. And again, against a tough side. It's not an easy start. I mean, I'm glad we're not playing one of the teams that got promoted with us. It's always a bit boring when you do that. But we're playing one of the established teams. A team that's never been relegated from the top division. Can we amount to the pressure? But the new kit, as you can see, Cody Achibi rocking out with the new red kit. Zim's in there, Icy Lava. Navoy had a great championship season. And he bagged in the Premier League as well. Hope you brothers are liking the new kit for this season. Every season I'll put out some new kits. Again, we may change a few of the sponsorship deals and stuff like that. Well, kit makers, should I say. The sponsors will stay the same. We've added us last season. We're going added us again this year. Uh, well, in fact, we had a Nike last year, actually, thinking about it. So we're going added us this year. I don't know if Everton have made any sort of uh, signings. Calvert Lewin's still in there, to be fair. Goalkeeper looks different. We'll have a little Pat Butchers at the sides. But as you know, this is your Reggie Boy United lineup going with a 4 3 3 on the opening day of the season. Again, just trying to match that three midfield for uh, Everton. Again, putting that pressure on uh, Rodriguez in there. This is your Everton lineup. And again, Hammers in there. Fabian Dells back in. Eric Dyer, the new signing. Scott Carson. Okay, and A. Gordon. I don't know who A. Gordon is. Must be Flash Gordon's son or something. Allen's playing right back. Well, that bode well. He's his defensive player, but. Allen and Dyer on that right-hand side looks like could be the weak spot for us today, you know. No cohesion in that right-back area for them. Well, let's get it. Premier League season underway. How will we do? Can we match up to the hype? Record number of championship points for this team. Again, Everton are standing off us at the moment. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Can we get there? Can we get there? That's one thing we may struggle with. Being a young side is just strength and pace. <laughs> you can sell the difference straight away. As soon as Everton get the ball, we <laughs> they have got some serious movement on that ball. We're going to have to just do some things today, brothers. Kozaki, out wide. No runners inside, unfortunately, at the moment. We have to go back again, eventually. 
Beautiful ball out wide. So Wakim Elijah plays it through. <sighs> Nearly got through for you, Bensley. Reggie Boy United can start again. Out wide, Dernan. Keep possession, boys. Keep possession. Beautiful. Good play. Chibi out wide. Kozaki. Head up. Ah, come on, Kuzi. Scott Carson throws it out. Dernan underneath it, though. Straight back in the mix. In the void. Can whip it across goal. Goes behind everybody. Unlucky. Reggie Boy United's crowd. Up for this game. Willing, boys. Get him. Ah, he's away, though. A. Hey, Gordon. Inside to Fabian Delft. Little change of tactics from Ancelotti's men. Hugging the touchline now. Ball whipped in. Chibi all day, every day. And again, that's good for the keeper getting his first catch of the season. Whoa. A little bit of pressure there. I'm got to be clever for playing out from the back of the season, boys. But here is Kuzaki. Elijah. Down again, eventually. Navoy. Elijah. Trying to see Kuzaki around the corner. It's a beautiful ball around the back. Ah, just couldn't keep it in play. Unlucky brothers, nice idea. 20 minutes gone. Just got to get them first game nerves out of the way. Long ball up. Win it, win it. Knocked on, but Ricketts is there to pick it up. Ball that wide, here's Dernan. Back inside again. Played across the Ah, it won't get there. Can we get the second ball? We can't. Ball play forward. Here's Bernard. Inside. Again, that's that loose pass. We're just not quick enough to pick it up. Intercepted by Ricketts. We're giving away again, though. And Everton are in behind. Get across, get across. Little turn by Gordon. And in the end, Nazim got to him beautifully. And this is where we can counter-attack. Here's Navoy. Into Wakim Elijah. Back round to Navoy again. Takes a touch round his man. Plays Wakim in. And Wakim is in! 1-0 United! Wakim Elijah with the first goal in the Premier League! And let's get it, brothers! Everton looked dangerous. Nazim intercepted in his own box. And away went United. Beautiful turn from Wakim into Navoy. Lost his man, played in Wakim Elijah. And he's the right side of the defender. And what a finish by Scott Carson. The guy's 56 years old in goal. We have to beat him. But Navoy and Wakim link up for the first goal in the Premier League, brothers. Regular United 1. Everton 0. We'll take that, brothers. We'll take that. Long ball over the top. Can't get to it. Nazim again trying to step out. Diacore. Touch. Can't get there one more time. Out wide. Bernard. Diacore again. Can we get anything? We can't. There's Bernard again. Nazim. Been immense so far in this game. Well played by Reggie Boy United getting out of the area. There's Joaquim into Navoy. Does a great job holding the ball up. Well done, Navoy. Loses his man as well. Plays out wide. Lamin Conte. Beautiful ball round. Ricketts. Can whip it in first time. Trying to find Elijah. Oh. Great football from United again. Navoy holding his man off to Lamin Conte. Ricketts has made the run. Beautiful ball out wide. Ricketts first time whipping. What a ball. And Elijah gets his head onto it. Like I said, that right hand side. Allen and Dyer. That's, our, that's the bit we've got to break down. That's how the goal came as well. Tactically working so far. I see Lava can't get underneath it. Ball played four, but Kuzaki intercepts. And again. Oh, referee! You must be smoking. You can't do that to Kuzaki. Didn't even flinch. Look, didn't even break a sweat. Just like, yeah, whatever. Got ankles made of stone. All right, I see Lava will take. Can we go right down the line? He can. Joaquin. Spin moves. Our oh, referee, come on. Shoving about from Diacode, surely. Ball play forward, but again, Nazim's in there. What a game. Here's a Chibi. Start again, brother, start again. Four minutes till half time. Reggie Boy Jr. will be pleased with his young team's efforts so far. Here's Kuzaki. Inside, Joaquim. Back to Kuzaki. Can get his head up. Can whip something in. It's gone back stick, though. It's gone past everybody. It will be a goal kick, Everton. So far, so good, though, for United. Scott Carson takes. I see Lava underneath it. And I see Lava. No messing about. And Avoy picks it up. And again, we're looking good still. That team cohesion working a treat. And it's Wakim again. Oh, just taking off his toes. Just trying to take it away from the defender a bit more. But it is 1-0 at half time. 
Joaquim Elijah's goal for the subscribers. Put some 1-0 up at the Wagwan Stadium. Everton look a little bit dangerous on the break. We'll make sure the stamina stays in check, but look at that. If we keep the same amount of possession second half, we're going to be okay. Just going to make sure whatever Everton do with that 35% isn't dangerous. You know Pez likes to script you from the kickoff, so we've got to win that ball back as soon as you can. Here's a Chibi. Eventually. Nice ball in. Navoy. This is beautiful football again from Reggie Boy United. Dernin. Navoy. Inside. Lamin Conte. Saved. Balls for Elijah. Back out wide. Eventually on the side. Save again. Reggie Boy United. Two chances in the first couple of minutes in the second half. Little slip there from uh, Lamin Conte. Got the shot off though. And then Joaquim laid it back. And eventually nearly got two goals. Well, got us 2 0 up at least. Alright, eventually 69 rated Durning. Let's go Durning 70. Okay, he's in that box. Let's even whip something in. That's a beautiful ball in. We've got somebody near post. The rule fall for Achibi. Back inside, eventually. Can't get turned around though to get a shot on goal. Cleared away. Nazim is there. Sends Ricketts down the line. Not a great first touch by Ricketts, but a mistake from the defender. And Ricketts can whip it in. Scott Carson is there. Right, took back in. Somebody took in for Ricketts. Touch forward. Nicely done, Eventsley. Again, just keeping possession. That's all we need to do against Everton. All right, let's go. They doubled up on that side. Durning. We need to get Allen one-on-one -on -one again with Allen. Nice ball out wide. Ricketts one more time. Ricketts taking on his man. Again, he's got a bit of a run on him. He has again. He's near post, unfortunately. And Ricketts is giving the, the left back an absolute torrid time. Stepped up by Icy Lava, nicely done. Eventually, again, Durning. Play forward. Here's Elijah. Kuzaki on the run. And Gazizaki can whip it in. And Everton clear their lines again. Ancelotti's men pinned in at the moment, but they can break here. Rodriguez. Ball play forward. Icy Lava steps up again. Both centre backs being solid today. Eventually, ball out wide, Ricketts yet again bombing down that wing. Lamin Conte wants it, turns, referee! Lamin Conte dragged the ball back and taken out. Cleared by Everton. The desire from Reggie Boy United is greater than Everton's at the moment. But the turning turn is asking the question from the referee. Ball played round the back, surely an offside decision, surely. Takes a shot! Woo! Everton's best chance of the game, Calvert Lewin in. And that's the difference with the pace all of a sudden. Out of the way, look at that ball round. What a ball, though. I think Achibi did enough to put him off. Alright, 69 minutes played. Let's make some subs. Okay. Uh, might have to put Shiku on. Ricketts has done an amazing game, but he's actually played his heart out, to be honest. He's going to be tired, though, on that wing. Um, Cruz, can you play something midfield? You can play attacking as well, can Cruz. So let's go like that and like that. Um, Spiral in there, Riley's in the house as well. I'll leave it for that for now. Everyone's doing okay. All right, well played, brothers. Ricketts, what a game as well. Dernie, well played, brother. Let's keep some fresh legs on here. All right, long ball up. And the boys underneath it. Flicks the header on, but can't do anything with it. Long ball up. Nazim's underneath it. Won by Everton. But Nazim put a lot of pressure on at least. Ball played out wide. Everton are flinging players forward now. Extra men forward. Tiziki, well done. Interception with his first touch. Another change as well. Andre Gomes on now. More attacking flair for Everton. But 18 minutes to go. Ball played inside. Here you go. Tiziki onto him. Eventually can clear it up though now as well. Lamin Conte. And away you go, Reggie Boy United. One ball in behind, beautiful, here's Cruz Mitchell, straight on the pitch, first few touches, Everton are backing away from him, goes out wide to Kozaki, Kozaki can get his head up, surely somebody, oh, three men in the box, no one can get a touch, here's Juventsley again, inside Cruz Mitchell, got players overlapping one more time, Kozaki out on the wing again, gets to the byline, whips it in, oh, behind the boy, Miggy Boy United could have had this game sewn up, Nearly give away a free kick there. Here's Allen. Like I said, they've struggled. Allen has really struggled at right back. And that's what we need to do. We need to find a weak spot on each Premier League team. 
and just trying the best we can. Tajiku picks up this loose pass though. Ball inside. Eventually, Mitchell. Trying to slide it through, can't do it though. Everton, five minutes to go. Nazim with another massive header. Ball played in though. Calvin Lewin can get turned. Chibi tries to get the ball, can't, goes out wide to Bernard. Kozaki trying to get across, does put a block on it. And Achibi picks it up. Long hoof up front. Headed on. Navoy. Mitchell. Play that wide. Beautiful football again from Reggie Boy United. Eventually trying to find Mitchell. He does. Spin moves in. Navoy. Oh, just couldn't get the power on it. But it looks like we're going to end up with a 1 0 win, brothers. First game of the season. We do. Opening day victory. Tough game against Everton. Well, like I said, we exploited the fact that they just brought Eric Dyer, a new centre back partnership, and a right back that was usually a midfielder. And Wakim Elijah got the only goal of the game. First goal of the Premier League, brothers. Tactically, we were brilliant again. And look at that. We deserved our win. We outplayed Ancelotti's men. And a 1 0 win. Wakim Elijah, man of the match. Well played, brother. All right, I like it a lot. Check your Premier League coupons. Uh, obviously, we keep an eye on the usual suspects. Liverpool, Man United, Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Chelsea's. Uh, Chelsea beat Arsenal 4-1 opening day. Okay. But for us, it's all about survival. Enjoy it while we look at the top brothers because we won't be there for long, man. My goodness. We'll get some peppers in this league, I think. But it is what it is. If we can get a couple of victories opening day, we are laughing. Uh, still some negotiations. We're going to have the European Football of the Year Award as well soon. This is probably more the scouts. No doubt the chairman wants to speak to me as well about something. He always does. Oh, I'm trying to enjoy my coffee, man. Well, I say it's coffee. It's rum and coke in there. All right, opening match. Sent the press out with a frenzy. Let's not lose momentum and get a win in the next one. Well, that's the aim of football. You try and win games. Now, get on my face, man. Oh, my goodness. The chairman. I swear down. If he didn't pay my bills, then I wouldn't care. All right. So, we've got some kind of negotiations. No, still scouts. Nobody wants Lobato just yet. But, like I said, I don't know... I mean, I'd feel bad if you open up to another subscriber and get 23 or 24 in there. They won't play as many games, so we might just struggle through just with a 22 and, like I say, a couple of uh, a couple of comedy academy players or something like that. We'll leave it to these 22 subscribers and see what they can do. Uh, more scout crap. So Messi, European Football of the Year. Um, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Should have been one of our players. But Tottenham Hotspur away. Now this is going to be tough. We've got Tottenham away. It's going to be Harry Kane and co. Uh, the Fakir's there as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. All right. So, again, they're going that three in midfield. Looking at that, we've got Romardinho, Spiral, and Waysom that are kind of up for the game. So, again, we're going to have to match him with that three in midfield, I think. I think it worked well last week against Everton. So, let's keep going. Silver T. All right. Uh, you get yourself in. Uh, Riley as well. Brian can make a start. Tishiku can make a start too. Uh, Ichibi's going to have to go back in again because, my goodness. What am I talking about? Yeah, Ichibi, that's it. I thought I put his brother in then. I thought I put the goalkeeper in. Uh, Riley Evans gets in on the bench as well. We will need you at some point. I mean, Conte is buzzing as well. Still, Navoy. Let's go, Romardinho. Let's go, Mitchell again. Mitchell can start this time. Uh, Lamin Conte and Elijah. Oh, tempted, 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 tempted. Uh, let's go like that. And let's go Davies as well. You all can make a bit of a Premier League debut. So, uh, Cody's had a game. Icy Lava has Souls Ricketts. Waysom some Spiral. Manny. A few other brothers need to come on and play the game as well. All right. We'll go with that. Uh, we'll go with Captain today. We'll go with Brian. Go Brian and Love. I might just, I might just change the Captain every week. And that's the easiest way to do it, maybe. Uh, right. Brian and Love can be Captain today. All right. Let's get it. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham versus Reggie Boy United. Let's rock with a different kit as well. Should we go yellow or should we go green? Let's go with the green bad boy. All right, brothers. I will see you at kickoff. Here we go. Tottenham. Reggie Boy United. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. But we are United. We know what to do. We're ready for him. If we come away with any kind of points here, keep Son and Kane quiet, I'll be happy, brothers. So let's get it. Romaldinho Jr. leading the line today. 
Ball played in. It's top room for team are fast already. Making a fast start. And a shot from distance already. And Silver T's like, damn! I mean, Velcro my gloves up. He was lacing things from distance. Here's Kuzaki. Intercepted, but Achibi can get there. Durning. Davis. Back out again, Durning. Why not start again? Here's Brian on love. Captain for today. Chichiku. Oh, why, Brian? Here's Riley. Inside, Davis. Scored that wonder goal in the last episode. Romadinho's there. A little turn. Ball played by Fruf. Nice idea from Romadinho. Could be difficult for him up front by himself as well. Only uh, four foot six. It's going to be a tired one, but um, what can we do? He's out of world up. Nice little spread out wide. Regulon. Just like saying his name. Regulon. Oh, come on, come on. Get back, get back, get back. Like in the club. What are you drinking? Regulon. All right, cool. <laughs> Durning, get there, brother. Oh, spin moves him. Nicely done. Let's just hoof it up. Gets a little flick on. That's nice. We can't get the second ball. Tottenham are playing a very high line, though. So we can get Romadinho on the ground. Through ball. We might be all right. Davis trying to get some. And this is the difference with some of these Premier League teams. You just the strength of the players. All right, get a wall up fast. Get a wall up fast. Well, battle from Davis. And then Durney says, cut the crap. All right, come on. Fakir, surely not from this distance. It's going for it as well. The wall does its job. Here's Kuzaki. Not many United players forward. We're going to have to go back, get our shape back again. Here's Durning. Inside to Davis. Couldn't get the ball out wide. Didn't work for them. Here's Fakir. Blocked away by Chibi again. Nicely done. And we're going to need a Chibi a lot in that defensive midfielder position this season. Oh, referee! That's what I'm talking about. Absolute liberties. Brian and Love does well. Back to Silver T. And United start again. Here's Kuzaki. And again, not showing no fear on the ball, the brothers. Here's the Chibi. Our very own Ungolo Kante. Ball around the back, that's beautiful for Romardinho. Cuts back in. Ah, tries to nutmeg Sanchez, he does, but couldn't get around the player. Current club player of the year. Here's Kozaki. To Davies, Mr. Smooth Grooves. Inside to Dernin. We'll go for the big curler. Dernin! Had the curl, just didn't dip quick enough. We got our first effort on goal at least. 27 minutes in, we managed to keep Tottenham fairly quiet. There's Riley underneath it. Can't win his header. Ball played through. Chijiku's there though, again, back to Silver T. We'll have to go along this time. Nice touch down. Oh, just can't get it across though to Cruz. Chibi can't get a touch in. Son again. Tottenham. Slowly but surely putting that pressure on. Dolan quick inside. Here's Kane. Oh, Silver T, what a save. What a save by the Silverman. Harry Kane using them positions does not miss. They go flying past the goalkeeper. But Silver T. Oh, what a save, brother. Enjoy it. Because is hyped as well. Silver T says, I made that save. My eyes closed. All right, here's Son. Ball whipped in. Can we get that? Go across. Tushiki's out there as well. Let's see, let's get our shape back. Clear your lines, Riley. Well done. 33 minutes played here. Tottenham have ever pressure going on. Ball whipped in. Harry Kane this time. Oh, Silver T again. Silver T, my goodness. Gordon Banks esque. What a save. Oof, a nearly a mistake by Tottenham and Romadinho's nearly in. My goodness. Here's Ndombele. Silver T keeping us in the game at the moment. Two world class saves. He's in love though. Tottenham. Maybe feel a little bit of pressure now. They haven't managed to score so far yet. Romadinho Jr. Little touch inside. The little Jamaican playing the ball around the back. Beautifully done. Ah, oh, badge through. We're still trying to badge through. <laughs> in the end, we fight for a corner. Well done, subs. But my goodness, Silver T has kept us in the game. Here's Davis. Ball whipped in. Durning's in there. It will fall for Chichiku. You know he can hit him. Getting blocked away. Here's Harry Kane. I don't mind if one of you gets your yellow card. Take him out. Touch inside though. We've got to watch the runners. Blocked by Riley. And Brian can start again. Let's get it up there. One last hoof. For half time. 
We lose it out though. Harry Kane and he's spun behind. Don't let that pass get through. Here's a chibi. And manages to hold him up. We managed to take Tottenham to a nil-nil at half time. Silver T earning his dollars, earning his new contract. It's kept Reggie Boy United in it. Nil-nil at the break. And then you can see a little bit more possession than Mourinho's men. But my goodness. Some world-class goalkeeping. Has kept us in it. Can we stay in the game for 90 minutes? Here's Kuzaki. Tottenham just backing off for the first few minutes in this half. Give Cruz a chance to run at some players. Tucks inside. And one more time. Referee! Well, Cruz, you okay, man? Cruz is cool. No yellow card, though, for Lucas Moura. A surprise, referee. That was filth. Again, taken out. Oh, my goodness. Referee! Shame on you. All right, so <laughs> Silver T. Right, if it was a better angle, Silver, I'd let you take that, but I can't risk it at the moment. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Silver T. Okay. Uh, right. Make sure you brothers make this run at the back stick. Dernan whips it in beautifully. Just fall for Cruz, but he's ah, whacked in the face in the end. Intercepted, though. There's Casemiro, though, Chibi. A Chibi! Oh! The defensive midfielder was inches wide. Then intercepted it in there, Chibi. Tottenham, we're not fast to get rid of it. Chibi gets it onto his left foot. Oh, just wide. We definitely made our presence known in the Premier League, brothers. Long kick up. Brian and Love. Can't win it. Touchdown. down. Referees his play on. Brian and Love wins the second ball, though. Here's Regulon and Durning's in at Regulon now. Lays it up. We're getting a bit of confidence in our play. And Romadinho Jr. Oh, referee, come on, you can't see me. Told you, man, he's little John Cena. Oh, bloody hell. Literally a shin pad. All right, Davison Sanchez takes. Long hoof up. Where's it? Oh, referee, see Harry Kane's push then. Absolute liberties, but a little bit ball out by Romadinho Jr. Lamin Conte cuts in. Sees the run. Oh, can't get it back to Romadinho though. Tottenham back in numbers, but great work again from Reggie Boy United. Oh, referee, that's no way. What? You give them a free kick. Oh, here we go. Oh, well in Davis. I like that. Let him know. Mr. Smooth Grooves ain't playing around. It's gone from R&B to hip hop. All right, here's Mitchell. Ball played in, Romadinho Jr. Back to Davies. Oh, just the layoff wasn't great. But Davies can win it back again. Mourinho's arguing he should be sent off. He shouldn't be on the pitch. Mr. Smooth Grooves doesn't care. Ball played forward, though. Tottenham intercept it. Less than half an hour to go here at the Tottenham Stadium. The game's opening up a little bit now. Teams are taking a bit more chances, which means more mistakes. Tottenham have possession, though. They go long. Brian Love says not today. Just back in the mix, though. We can't get the second ball. And this is where Tottenham could be dangerous. The one-twos are happening. Harry Kane's been spun moved a couple of times. Shiku. And in the end, it's bobbing around. Brian Love wins it back. If they'd have scored from that, I'd have been fuming. Hate them bobbling goals. Uh, here's to Shiku. He's driving through. Tottenham can't keep up with the right back. He's going all the way still. Touch. Here's Mitchell. Out wide. Kozaki's in. Gets his head up. Romadinho Jr. Deflected. Oh. Just over the bar. Reggie Boy United nearly causing a big upset here. Kuzaki sneaking in from behind. Laid it back. And it hit Sanchez and went over. Alright, let's have a look. Make some changes. I don't believe Davis got booked either for his challenge. <laughs> ah, genius, he didn't. Uh, okay, uh, let's get Manny in the building. Let's see if we can get Wayson can get something for us. Um... I might just leave it like that at the moment. Riley Evans. Actually, you can come on at right back, actually, can't you, Riley? All right, well played, brothers. Can we get something? In fact, let's... Uh, let's have a left foot or just whipping it outwards. Come on, Kuzaki. Let's see if brother can run onto this. We've got runners. <sighs> we nearly got the header onto it as well. The Chibi getting there. Back to Kuzaki. He's going to go for a deep cross in. Players bobbing around everywhere though. Here's Undombele. 
We need to get our shape back quick. Here's Sanchez. High winks. Ball's played out. Tottenham again on the attack now. We're 15 minutes away from at least getting an absolutely blinding point here at Tottenham. Here's Reginald. Taking on Durning. Durning wins it back though. And we can go again. Unlove to Riley. So far been immense at the back, the boys. Here's Kozaki again, bombing down the left back. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Touch inside to Manny. Ball played through. Waysom. Oh, taken out. Referee says nothing. His son, Regulon. Mourinho's men being held by United at home still. They want a day to pass it. Damn. Here's how he winks. Ball played through. The space in the middle. Davies coming across to Chibi. Here's Doherty. Hold him up, hold him up. Nicely done, Achieve. Durning. Oh, can't intercept it. And Tottenham are making moves. And Son! And again, Silver T, when called upon, does a job. Kozaki clears his lines. Four minutes to go. What a battle, nil nil this is. Here's Achieve one more time. Ball played out wide. Here's Manny. Cuts inside. Referee, have a word. Get there, Manny, get there. He does. To smooth grooves, Davis. Davis! Oh. Alex Romero with the save. One minute to go. Brian Love, beautiful header back in the mix. Can we get there? We do. Nil nil. I'll take that. World class saves from Silver T. And to be fair, we had two or three chances ourselves. Even Phil Mitchell agrees. So a good game from United, but a nil nil. Credible draw against Tottenham, really. We can't complain with that. It's a shame we didn't get the winner. We're in the game as well. We had our chances, you can see, brothers. But Silver T, man of the match, yeah. Definitely. Well played, Silver T. Two world-class saves in there. Kept us in it. But that is the opening games of the Premier League season, brothers. It's good to be in the Premier League. Uh, and basically picking up four points out of a possible six in our opening two games. I can't complain with that at all. Goals four may be an issue. We've only got the one goal in the two games. But it is early doors, brothers. Early doors. What we're aiming for is that magic 40 points and then we'll press on from there. Safety is paramount. And then we'll go from there, brothers. But All right, last day of the transfer window. Like I said, I don't think anything's going to be coming in or going out, to be honest, brothers. Um, we've got our club performance for August. We don't need to know that. Uh, some of the brothers got called up for international duty as well. So Kozaki's gone in for Finland. Uh, Riley and Romardinho gone to Jamaica. Tshiku and Love gone for South Africa. And Riley Evans and Lamin Conte have both been called up by the USA team. Uh, any other big transfer news we didn't know about? Uh, De Jong's gone to Man City, but Gabriel Jesus has gone to Chelsea. So, honestly, the Premier League is going to be an absolute nightmare. Our third's gone to uh, Inter Milan. Fabinho's left, though, for Real Madrid. Ruben Neves has gone. Leon Bailey has moved on to Gladbach as well. Uh, is this a guy's moved? I think that rest of them we've kind of seen. Walcott again, Poro Poro. Yeah. All right, brothers. So, let's have a quick look at the fixtures. Huddersfield Town uh, in the FA Cup. Now, hmm. Mm hmm. Do I bring the FA Cup first round? Because it's Huddersfield, I won't do. Because uh, the first round is pretty much the two new promoted teams, or three, and then the championship teams, to be honest. So I'll play that one off camera. I might even play Villa off camera. In fact, I think I will. And we'll come back for Liverpool and maybe Manchester City and play Bournemouth off camera as well. So definitely those two off camera. Liverpool in the mix. And Man City. Let's hope we don't get absolutely battered. But in the meantime, brother, smash the rass on that like button for the four points at Reggae Boy United have in the Premier League. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wah, guan. Hit that notification bell. Okay. Peace and love, brothers. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Take it on.